This is a video of the TI-30X2S on um, logs. <clears throat> so let's do it. So let's say you had the log of base 525, right? To do this on this calculator, um, we'll do log of 25 over log of 5. Why? Well, this is log of base 5. These calculators usually don't have a different base other than 10, which is this one, this key right here. So we need to rearrange it. And there's a mathematical way of doing this. So all you need to remember is 25 is on the top, log of 25, and divide by the log of 5, and you'll get it. Okay. So, um, and so this is, um, we're going to press clear here. And we'll press log here, 25. We're going to close it, divided by log 5. We're going to close it, and then equals gives you 2. Very straightforward. Let's say you have the log of base x, 25, equals 2. There's a rule that says that the log, that the log of a, b, equals c. It's the same thing as a to the c equals b good law to remember. So here, x to the second power equals 25. And then we take the square root on both sides. x equals the square root of 25. So in this case, what square root is right here. Second square root 25 equals, and that's 5. I think we knew that. How about the log of base 10? x equals 2. Well, this one's 10 to the 2, right, equals x. And how do we do that? 10 carat 2 and, and equals or enter x equals 100. I think we knew that as well. Let's do some anti-logs like 10 to the 2.5. Okay, 10 carat 2.5 equals that's going to give you, what, 316.2277, and so forth. Okay, you can also do it another way. If you look at the log key, it's 10 to the x. So press second, log, and it gives you 10 already with the caret. 2.5, less steps. You can close it if you like, and it gives you the same answer. Um, 10 to the minus 1.5, same thing, second, log, and then you can press negative, not minus, negative, 1.5, close it if you like, equals, and that gives you a 0 0.0316, and so forth. Okay, then 10 to the half, right? Um, I'm looking very quickly. I do see an ABC button here, so we can go second, log, 1, A, B, C, 2, close it, equals, and we get 3.1622, right? By the way, this can be rewritten as the square root of 10, where we have a base 2, and this one is over here. So this is really the square root of 10 as well. Okay, second, square root, 10, Enter, gives you the same answer. Perfect. How about the log of uh, 8, right? The log of 8. Well, we do the log. This one doesn't have a 10, but it's based on 10. It's assumed. 8, enter, 0 0.9030, and so forth. How about the log of 8 squared? Well, you take the log. 8, and then you square it, close it, equals 1.8061, right? Okay, that looks good. There's a rule that says if you bring down the 2, you can do the same calculation. 2 times the log of 8. Well, that's 2 log 8. Here, because it's an algebraic calculator, it automatically multiplies it. And you get the same answer. Okay. 
Now let's do the natural log of 8. Right? Natural log. 8. Right? Enter. That gives you 2.079. And it keeps going. Hmm. Okay. By the way, uh, if it's going too fast, just pause, rewind, uh, take, your, take your time. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please tell your teacher. And if you're inclined to support the channel, please use the thank, thank you button or thanks button. Okay. Now, natural log really is the log of base E, 8. And it will give you the same answer. Um, that's, the, that's how you rewrite it. What's e? Well, if you look at the natural log key, there's e to the x. If you press second, natural log, type in a 1, it gives you the answer. 2.718 just keeps going. So, you can calculate uh, the log of e, base e to the 8, just like we did over here, right? So, log 8 divided by log e. How do we do that? Well, log 8, close it, divide, log, we need e. So second, natural log, I'm going to put a 1, we close it, we close it again, I think we're okay, equals, same answer, oops, same answer as that, okay? <clears throat> 2.07, uh, 2.079, all right. And that was easy. Learning these extra steps is not important, but it gives you a clue of what's going on and, and it gives you a better insight than when you're doing the math in your calculator. Don't forget your calculator. In this case, it's sort of checking for your understanding, but there's certain things that you can't calculate. Um, sometimes you have to use a table. Um, now, What's next? Well, let's say e to the negative 1.8, right? That's going to be uh, second log negative 1.8, enter. That gives you 0 0.16529, keeps going. And then the natural log of x equals 3. How do you do that? This is the natural log, which is really the log of e to the x equals 3, using this rule again, e to the third equals x. So you go second, e to the x, you type in the 3, you close it, your equals, it gives you x equals 20.085, and so forth. Okay? Now, what does that mean? It means that the natural log of 20.085, and you keep going, Type in all the numbers, should give you three. Is that right? Well, let's see. You put the natural log, and then you say second answer, or the previous answer, gives you three. Okay. That's a lot of work. Um, that's a lot of steps. But keep in mind that the more you do it, the better you'll get. I hope you have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.